than six days out from the solar eclipse. Many will want to capture the event on their phones. Wayne 15's Taylor King joins us with some helpful tips from Verizon on how to capture the moment. Uh, well, the uh, total solar eclipse is a once in a lifetime event and certain settings on your smartphone camera can help capture the best eclipse photo. First Verizon says taking photos of the eclipse with your smartphone won't necessarily damage your phone. It will just depend on how well the photo will turn out. For the clearest photos during the totality, be sure you or someone you know has a newer smartphone with a high resolution camera. Next, be sure to turn off your flash and if you plan on zooming in, use optical zoom. Activate burst mode to capture the eclipse's diamond ring and also shoot on raw mode. Using a solar lens cover over your smartphone will enhance any photos you take. These are the photo filters that we're talking about that go over the, the uh, lens of a phone. Um, these are not made for eyes. Do not use these for your eyes when it comes to the eclipse itself, but these will help offer the best quality picture that you can, you can get during the, the eclipse itself. The phone filters can be purchased at many grocery and tech stores, and Verizon added they have been working with their engineers to ensure their cell service and data will be able to withstand the large crowds come Eclipse Day. Taylor King, King 15 News.